Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how works these Ford cars and trucks engines drive belt tensioner and here we have one tensioner and this tensioner really works so that there is spring in their inner area and when we bend and when we move that bolt then this tensioner opens and tension goes away and then when we release our wrench then this tension is back and let's look closer and we need for that Ford tensioner 15 millimeter socket and then this is my wrench and, and then I have to move that totally up and now it stops and this is the, like this opening position and then when I release that this is like close position so easy and only this uh, check thing is that we have to install this central bolt in 40 newton meters force that one and then also check that this this wheel rotates nicely because there is inner area there are bearings and let's go to look then these bearings and I take now this tensioner away and I have 10 millimeter socket and I remove this socket and then we can look closer this tensioner then I firstly I open these two bolts in that way then I use my electric drill driver that we can open this faster there is first nut and second two bolts and now this tensioner is free and next we can go to look this part closer hey and there is this my tensioner and this tensioner this is really Ford their original part and there is thing that lift in that position interesting info but now when I show that idea is that we rotate that bolt and then this tensioner moves and this part in their inner area there is this big spring and when we if we cut that area we have to be really carefully and do not open that part because there is really heavy spring what can fly against our body and there is also US patent this is created in USA and let's look at how this tensioner works when I install this part in my workbench and now when I install that I can also open this my part and this is like this tensioners this starting point and now this is like intention when we are in this position then this uh, tensioner uh, makes this our belt tight and there is tension and now when I take this 15 millimeter wrench and I move that in this way like this lift position where is this by the way this arrow we can look that closer see this arrow it means that lift in here and there is even small cut in there marking that these lines goes in together and in this position that position we can now when I a little bit move wider in this position we can like open this belt this is the, this is like installation point and then when I have installed belt in here I only release that and in that way this is all only important thing is that this bolt this must be in 40 newton meters force and if I remove that in that way 
I have to use torch friends because there is thing that there is inner area there are bearings and that's if we install this bolt too loosen like in that way then this part moves in this way or then if we over tight this nut too hard this is like outer plate then these small bearings there's really bearings in inside in here they can damage there are roller roll bearings in inside look nice engineering and that's there's this soft and this part goes in here and this wheel it must rotate in that way nicely and then when we install this installation bolt there is this important thing that if I over tight this my bolt with, without this torch friends I can install in here so much force that this feel it don't move and now now I will show that what happens if I over tight this my bolt too much but is there any effect in this if I use like a huge amount of force showing that what happens if I use too much force I believe that this bolt cuts I have feeling let's look at what happens and, and this is still running little bit little bit difficulties but how about then even more if I use like handyman now it's things that this tool I, I damage these bolts threads because they start to move in like in this way easily and in that way if I over tight too much I will damage this whole tensioner totally and now what I have made I have now destroyed these bolts these parts because now this rotates really easily and in that way we have issue because there is no enough this keeping force in here and now let's see that can I open that now this is because this is low. now we can see that I really actually I broke this whole shaft let's go to look closer <laughs> 